Well, there are world champions in our midst. Not in any sort of sport you might be familiar with, but still, a world championship is a world championship. Last month, the Eagle High School Percussion Ensemble made a trip to Dayton, Ohio for an international competition. And they were the first school from Idaho to compete in this contest. Well, that wasn't the only first for this band. The halls and walls at Eagle High School are blanketed by banners and trophies. A testament to the tons of football and basketball and softball championships dating back decades. But those state titles. Uh, let's go from the top. We'll have to make room. To letter C. For a world one. All right, here we go. In the music room. Rob Sullins puts the percussion ensemble through its paces. Do the accelerando and make sure we reach that top uh, tempo. Being in this band isn't just about keeping the beat. It's about hitting the right targets and shaping the sound, but also a major part of it is just like performing because you want to be able to watch something and enjoy it. There's a lot of like movement and just like communicating and stuff. It's fun. <laughs> Rob came to Eagle High three years ago from Texas, yeah. where bands play second fiddle only to the state sport of football when it comes to intensity. It was just like, oh, this would be fun. And then after doing it for a little while, I was like, hey, we could do this little thing called WGI. This little thing called WGI. You are on the world stage. Is Winter Guard International. Let's make it happen. A world championship competition for percussionists. This is the highest level that you can kind of compete percussively. It's a level the Mustangs have been working towards the last two years. Then a few months ago, they qualified with the help of an audition video, but without ever performing in public. So the Thursday before we left for the trip was the first time the students left that room to go perform in the gym down the hall. And then our literal first contest was prelims at WGI. Like going zero to 60 in seconds. Uh, zero to a million is more like it, yeah, for sure. In April, after raising tens of thousands of dollars in just three months, yeah, it's crazy. They headed to Ohio. It's like incredible just going there. To compete in the Scholastic Concert A category. So it was a tremendous ask, not any normal ask. This was the kind of most ridiculous ask and pressure we could have placed on the students. That pressure was released <laughs> after their first performance. I didn't really expect us to make it in finals at all and like much less get like a really high score. In first place with a score of 88.7 in Eagle High School. So not only do we have a good first run, like watching it unfold in real time, it was like, that really couldn't have gone better for our first run, like ever. That first run put them in the final round. It was like, oh, it's getting real. <laughs> Cause like I expected to get like fifth or sixth and not make it to finals. And after competing together for just the second time ever. I was just hoping that we did as good as I thought. And you did. Mm -hmm. They won that too. Receiving the gold medal for the score of 92.0. I had no clue what was going to happen, and I was expecting second or something like that. Never competed before, yeah. And then won the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like Christmas morning in the spring. Like a hundred times, like more than anything you'd ever imagine. <laughs> While medals. A lot of hard work put into a little metal, <laughs> but it means a lot. And a big trophy are great mementos to take home. Rob hopes they hold on to something bigger. Like even after Dayton, like it's like there's a confidence in you that did not exist before we left. C can you feel that in yourself and like feel that in the people around you? Still, G to the end. They're gonna savor this win. Dayton 2024 WGI Percussion World Championship. For a little longer. Like, of the world. Of the whole world. It's crazy. <laughs> of the world. Rob, the percussion director, says they also got a banner for winning the world title. He's not sure, though, if they're going to hang it in the halls at Eagle High School or just put it up in the music room. So how do you follow up a world championship? Reagan told us they work harder and they become better. 
As for returning to the WGI competition next year, that has yet to be decided. But if you heard by the songs, they're playing Christmas music. They do have their winter concert list, set list that is, all ready to go.